back at the Rim World with Elon Musk now that Tallulah Riley joined and Sarah Palin not talking about XA812. Sarah Palin is throwing a party as you can see here. XA812 has seven mining so he should do that more so he levels up that's what you need the more a character does something the better he gets of course like any RPG. I have three beds. One, the big bed is still to the boss, Elon Musk. He's the, the leader of this libertarian colony, so, so he has the, the big bed, but the girls don't need to sleep on the floor anymore. And XA812 is coming here to join the party. Sarah Palin is throwing a, an Alaskan <laughs> party. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit. Today's Thursday, 29, two days for the elections in Brazil. Yes, Lula and Bolsonaro are head to head in an election that I think it's going to be really problematic. <laughs> Lula at the polls is winning. He might even end it on the first on the first term, you know, let's see what happens. And I really dislike that man, Lula. I mean, I think he's a populist, shameless populist. He has absolutely no ideology. He's just a crook, a capitalist crook, used politics to make himself rich, to have a comfort life, to have money. According to the internet, he has one million five hundred thousand dollars yes the workers in brazil have that as well don't they lula you piece of crapola you are ashamed you you have no shame man you hide behind a, a red flag that's not even yours you were a complete disgrace just go live your life someplace else forget politics all you know how to do is give handouts to people little gifts and expect that's going to work but remember something bolsonaro also did that and that didn't work so that's not going to work for you anymore i'm saying this because i don't think lula has what it takes to finish his first year as president of brazil he's not going to last one year and i'm saying that based on what I see here in Argentina, that the right wing is really organized and they, they have attacked Alberto Fernandez non-stop. That man, the man, has no power. He's just officially the president, but he doesn't have any power. Cristina is the, still the one that leads the country. Yeah under the, the, the shades, you know, she's hiding, but she's the one who, who makes the shots because she has the votes and she's still popular and another populist. But Cristina made a smart move by calling Sergio Massa to handle the economics because the right wing does, don't seem to be, they don't seem to hate Sergio Massa as much as they hated Alberto Fernandez, that man is destroyed. He has no power. The same thing, exactly the same thing is going to happen to Lula in less than a year, I predict. Because Lula is going to try to do the same as he did before. Just populism, that's all he knows how to do. And that's not going to work. The right wing is really well organized. They are going to use the internet they're going to use the media and they're going to use all the power they have to make his presidency a nightmare. And I think he deserves it. The reason why I dislike that man so much is that because he hides, he hides under a ideology that's not his. He hides behind that red flag he doesn't have one drop of red blood, and when I mean red, I mean communist blood on his body, 
he's just a, a capitalist that he used the people, he used uh, communism, he used socialism to make himself popular. But if there was truly a communist revolution in Brazil, Lula would be under his bed. You know, he has no... He's not a brave man at all. And I, I don't think Brazil knows... I don't think he knows what he's getting himself into. In the morning, there is a, a show called, called The Morning Show. And right there, there are two very strong right-wing uh, hosts. One of them is Zoe Fernandes, and the other one is Paulo Figueiredo. And they're going to attack Lula non-stop. And I think he's not going to have what it takes to to handle the opposition that's going to happen in Brazil. So there, Lula, I think you've made a bad choice and I don't, I don't wish you any luck at all because I, th I know you are a crook. I know you're not a communist. I know you're not a socialist. I know you have no ideology. All you want is to live the good life with other people's money. That's what, that's what you do. That's what That's what you did your whole life. That's why you have one more than one million dollars. Do you think the workers in Brazil have one million dollars? Of course not. But hey, that's what people want. Let them have it. In my game, I have a quest here that's, that I will not accept <laughs> because I will become the enemy of the broken empire and I don't want to do that because the Broken Empire is still strong and I'm not. If this was more in the future of my game, I probably, if I was stronger, maybe I would accept this quest, but for the time being, no. And finally, Elon Musk is building, is constructing my sun lamp. Finally, I can plant in winter and set up paling still naked is training my mega sloth yes she gets happy every time she has to handle animals so you might want to to look at what your characters are good at so they level up and they get happy when they are doing what they like eight minutes of video and time for my anti-ideology movies yes if you're thinking about making some bullshit because of ideology those movies might make you think twice one the first movie is born on 4th of july tells the story of ronnie kovic played with perfection by tom cruise and he has the brilliant idea to go to vietnam fight communism Yes, people watch too much TV, I think, for our Johnny Kovic there. <laughs> the second movie is exactly the story of a doctor, Argentinian doctor, called Che Guevara. Yes, that goes to the last real communist, Che Guevara. He goes to Cuba to start a communist revolution. Comes to Bolivia, to Bolivia just to get shot. The third movie is American History X with the excellent Edward Norton. I really like that guy. I think he is one of the best actors ever. And I'm not kidding. He plays Derek, a neo-Nazi who learns the worst way. And I mean the worst way. Watch the movie. The, not to take his ideology so seriously. The last movie is more of a light movie. It's called The Front with Woody Allen. It's about the McCarthyism and Woody Allen actually manages to make some money with people in the black list. He makes money with communists. <laughs> and he even makes a joke. You leftovers have a problem with money. <laughs> Great with the island and that's it for today.